Hey guys, welcome to my podcast. Okay, this is my very first episode. I'm kind of like、um, nervous about this because it's、uh, it's different from doing YouTube. I don't know how different, but because you're just going to listen to my voice, and、um, I'm kind of just hoping everything sounds nice and sounds well or something. <laughs> Even if my voice gets you to sleep, though, I think it's perfect. That's like okay for me. I'm Yemi. Welcome to my podcast. I'm Yemi Olawale. Um, I do YouTube videos. I run a YouTube channel. It's Yemi Olawale. Still my name. I also costume style for like production. Short film, movies, stuff like that. I also am an aspiring project manager. So if you have any roles like project coordinator or project assistant, stuff like that, please hit me up. Okay, I'm kind of like、um, I have the same name on most platforms. So it's Yemi underscore O A. So you can find me on most social media platforms. Okay, I、um, also like to think that I have a good voice. So.、Um, Also, my voice is not soothing or something like that. But yeah, I have a quite decent voice, I believe. So I hope you come back to listen to me again. Okay, so this is my first episode. I am kind of excited. Today is Friday. It is the eleventh of June, and、um, I mean, I'm not super excited this Friday because I mean, every day is the same to me. For someone who doesn't have a nine to five, every day is kind of like almost the same, except you have like a really You know, plan schedule or something. But anyway,、um, like I said, every day is almost the same. So I'm not particularly pumped about it being Friday. I'm actually pumped because today is the day that Ontario finally lets us to get out of the house. Okay. Now, as an introverted person, a proudly introverted person, I do not necessarily go out that often. But I am excited to have the option to get out of the house. Okay, if you know what I mean. If I don't go out, at least every every other person can get out of the house, and the house can be quiet or something. So that's kind of like the other part. That's the sidebar to it. But anyway, the point is, I can go out finally today. Hopefully, um, we've been on lockdown for, for God knows how flipping long since last year March. Okay, it's like they let us go out in July, and then they kind of like locked us back in, within a couple of weeks. That was not nice. So we've been waiting for. Don't know how long for them to open the door, and it's finally June, mid June, and they finally, you know, open the door. And I feel like every mall is going to be so crowded today. Every mall, every store. The only thing we've been allowed to do is buy groceries, so food, essential items, basically. So you couldn't even buy clothes. You couldn't buy shop for clothes. Places I like to go to shop for clothes, like Marshalls, and you know the likes. I could not go there. So. I don't have money at the moment, but I'm just happy I have the option to go. Even if it's to go and window shop, I'm glad to go do that. Okay, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. Anyway, um, I'm really just pumped about being able to get out of the house. But away from that, how has your week been? How has the second week of June been for you? For me, it's been kind of like a drag, simply because、um, I've been kind of tired for a good part of the week. But I'm kind of getting back into my You know, creative zone. So I think I kind of feel better now. Although, if there's anything that stresses stresses me a lot, it's、um, Nigerian problems. I mean, I don't live there, but then I have family there, so I can't like completely block it out of my mind or something. So every day is just one new thing or the other, one new news, one <laughs> one new update that is not pleasant. I mean, it's never pleasant. More than half the time, it's not pleasant. And it's really annoying. Like if there's anything taking a toll on my mental health, it's Nigerian problems. Every day is just one thing or the other. If you're like following what's been going on, if you listen to the interview that the president of UAR did, you will be very—I won't say you'd be surprised, but I'd say you'd be—you'd be pissed and prob- probably discouraged. I don't know. But anyway, away from that. Someone tweeted at some point that Nigerians are not like angry enough, but I don't think that's true. I think that Nigerians are just tired and they don't know what else to do. Because I mean, there was a protest, there was marching, and these people literally thought that we're coming. They thought it was a coup. So it's like nobody just knows what the next right step is going to be. So that's like part of you know the things stressing me out this week. Apart from the issue of just randomly looking for a job and stuff, but away from that, okay, I want to choose you know good vibes today because today is an amazing day. I believe it's an amazing day. So um, 
I want to ask, what have you guys been listening to? What have you been watching? I'm not a fan of movies or series like that, so I really can't even tell you what I've been watching. I think I've been watching mainly African movies, <laughs> stuff on Iroko and the likes. But um, as for songs, I've been listening to Feeling by Ladipo. So if you've not heard that, you can go and check that out. Okay? It's a, you know, good vibe kind of song. So I like it. I love to listen to it, especially when I'm driving. It's just perfect for that. And um, let me see. As for reading, as for reading, what have I been reading? So, I'm kind of avoiding reading stories for now, simply because I'm working on my own story, and it kind of like tend to influence me when I'm writing. I don't want to be thinking about how a writer is writing when I'm writing. I like my writing to just flow the way I would talk to somebody, so I'm kind of avoiding. But I try to start reading a book recently. So by the way, my first short story will be coming out soon, probably by the end of this month, okay? Don't worry, it's very cheap. <laughs> Okay, it's a short story. I just kind of wrote my mind to an extent. Not my mind, but you know, I wrote a story <laughs> with my mind, with my brain. So I hope that people, you know, who can relate can kind of like talk about it or something. But yeah, that being said, that's kind of the reason why I'm kind of avoiding, you know, reading any story because I don't want anything to influence my editing. So I'm on the editing phase now, just trying to put it together, trying to figure out where I want to upload you know what platforms i want to use so that's kind of what i'm working on and that's why i'm kind of, kind of avoiding new stories but there's one that's kind of like catching my interest it's i can't remember her name but um if i find the name i'll probably put it in the description of this podcast i started like the uh, sample part and the writing style is i love when writers are like simple and straightforward writing is like simple and straightforward and you're not using too many words or too many metaphors but i feel like there was just there's just so many metaphors inside and i'm just like so instead of me just trying to enjoy the stories like i'm spending time trying to figure out the me- figure out what she's saying via the metaphors and i'm just kind of stressed so i'm not sure if i'm going to buy the book or not but maybe i would buy it eventually i don't know i'll put the link in not the link i'll put the name of the book in the description box so you can check it out if it's something that you're interested in but i read mainly african stories so um or let me say mainly african writers so if that's something that you like then maybe you'll be interested in kind of books that i read okay so uh yeah i'm just going to leave y'all with this quote that i kind of heard or read this week okay so i saw this yesterday it says you can't wait until life isn't hard anymore to be happy so that's the vibe i want to go with this in the coming few days the thing we quote is that it kind of wear off me after like two or three hours of hearing or listening or reading it so i'm going to try to remember this when i feel like down or sad again so um here here it is one more time you can't wait until life isn't hard anymore to be happy so just be happy regardless of your situation you know find things that will make you happy even with whatever it is you're going through okay so that's it for today i hope you do have an amazing weekend and new week and i hope to see you in another episode okay thank you for sticking with yummy today see you later bye